Ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we are in the same clothes as last week because we're double filming these. Welcome to the reviews. So we're going to start, we've not got anything to say today, so we're just going to start, and we are going to start with a band called Dirty Magpie and their song which I thought was called Chimera, 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 and it's not, it's called Chimera. 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 Well, I believe you can pronounce it multiple ways, but yeah. Days keep coming, days that I go I keep going to I know what it's for Lots of things that I don't really show I keep going to life If we were just listening to this as an instrumental, I would have said, this is a bit pigeonaric, nothing new going on, that kind of thing. Because it's kind of music that I don't really listen to, like the indie shoegaze kind of thing. I think it's kind of good, kind of indie shoegaze vibes. I think the song is good um, in terms of songwriting and all that side of stuff. Stuff's good. The, the vocal feels kind of endearing to me because it's kind of raw and a little bit rough, kind of like what Weezer do with their vocals. And I don't know whether that's to do with the fact that you maybe recorded it DIY or whether it was an actual decision to go, let's do a kind of raw vocal. Either way, I really like it. That's the main thing that I like from the band is that it doesn't sound overly generic because of the kind of raw vocal, which you don't see creep into indie or shoegaze very often. It tends to be quite overly processed and really kind of bang on or... I, don't, I, don't, I want to say like really well sung, but that's like to say that what you're doing isn't, and that's not what I'm getting at. It's more kind of... You just it, like the style. It's raw, and I like it. Yep, kind of dig it. Um, keep up the good work. I really like the style as well. I didn't, I didn't fully resonate with it at first, but when Lenny kind of told me his point of view, I kind of warmed to the idea of it sounding really raw, like really rough and ready, and I like that. Like I like the... I like the raw vocals, I like the fact that the mix isn't like overly polished or anything. It sounds like it's been done in a bedroom, but kind of nicely. In a charming way, rather than like in a, oh, this is rubbish kind of way. Mm. Uh, the the song's catchy, I mean, it's, it's well put together. I would recommend maybe consider adding something into the song that mixes the texture up. Like, I don't know, adding a more prominent riff, a really drastically different drum part, a drastically different bass part, or something like that, I don't know. I mean, I liked the uh, the backing vocal part that you had at the end, the layered vocal part sounded really good. Uh, yeah, I mean, the chord sequence was kind of predictable, but... So what? I mean, it was a good song. Good work? Hmm? I said good work? Thank you. Not you. Your review and work is adequate. Now prove me wrong by introducing this next band in the best way possible. You want me to do it in the best way possible? I want you to do it in the best way possible. I can't decide which band to go for next, I. Is it because they're called Indecisive? Yes. Thought it would be. Yeah. Is this the best way that you're thinking of presenting it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you didn't give me much time to think about it. Okay, this fucking song is called... Well, we don't know. It could either be Indecisive or Sail Away. They didn't... Oh, no, the song... I'm going home. This next song is by a band called Indecisive. <laughs> this, this next song is called Sail Away by Indecisive. I'm definitely keeping that entire like, minute section in. <laughs> That song I thought was really good. It started off with kind of. <laughs> I'm not laughing at the song. <laughs> we listened to it earlier. Okay, I'll do. No, here we go. Isn't this video just so much more, so much better now? Uh, I really liked that song. I liked the transition you did from like the weird. Like you opened the song with like a weird. 
I don't know, I don't really know how to explain it, it just sounded weird, like the chord progression that you used. Well, I suppose it wasn't even a chord progression, like the progression that the bass played was really weird and coupled with like the the clean sound of the guitar, it just gave a really weird vibe that I haven't really heard in songs before, so that was good. Um, I really liked the fact that you had loads of different singers, I thought that was really good, it helped divide the song up into different moods throughout the song depending on how that, that particular singer sang. The the hook was really really catchy, I mean I've still got it in my head now. It was a really good song and I don't really have anything that I can fault it with. Do you? I'm glad you asked. Joe said almost everything that I, I was thinking I, to compliment something that he hasn't talked about yet. The chorus was pretty good, like the entire like thing, just like the melody or whatever, it felt quite linear, and then when you do the sail away, sail away bit, that, it feel, I don't know whether it's syncopated or what, what it is, but it, it makes the melody feel kind of fresh at that point, like everything's kind of, ooh, there's a thing happening, ooh, similar kind of thing, ooh, similar kind of thing, then the sail away bit, and that feels different, and I really like how that's kind of structured. Um, in terms of the video, I like that you went with slow motion, however, there are certain bits in the song that um, the performance, the bit that we're listening to, feels quite um, emphasised. So there might be a bit that's like do 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 do, but it's not that. But there's that kind of change in um, in like emotion where, when it's being sung, and it, then in the video that isn't conveyed. Rather than we do a really stupid impression, which I've just spent the past five minutes doing, realising it isn't very good. What I mean is it, is this. <laughs> So you can see the vocal kind of goes like em emphasised, and the 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 thing that we're looking at the the performance isn't isn't. Other than that, it's pretty cool. Um, bit of background on this project: they sent me some information about it. It seems like it was some kind of thing where they got like nine or ten people together and just went right. You're gonna do a song. You're gonna record it. You're gonna make a music video, and off you go, kind of thing. That might be why they're called Indecisive, because if they've been a group that's been put together, maybe they couldn't settle on a name. So they thought, we are Indecisive. That sounds like something I would have done in like college or something, so. If that's true, Joe gets brownie points. Who what do brownie it? points actually do? Uh, well, I imagine when you're in brownies. Yeah, but I wasn't in brownies. No, I, was me, in, the, me I wasn't even in scouts, I was in fucking beavers. I wasn't in any. You fucking degenerate. I don't know how to tie knots. I imagine that's all that you'll learn in brownies. I didn't sell cookies either. Did you? No. Uh, or biscuits, because in, Amer no. in America they sell cookies, but they just call any biscuit cookies. That's super weird, by the way, all you Americans watching, that you call any biscuit a cookie. That's super weird. Would you agree that that's super weird? You seem to be I looking don't. at me like you don't, don't. You don't have this kind of passion. No, I, don't. I really don't. That means Biscoff would be classed as a cookie. No, because Biscoff is, is a, a biscuit. Oh, yeah, so it is. And they call... That that's well. I don't. Weird. I don't believe they use the word biscuit. No, they use the word cookie. Saying that, there's the advert with the really overly Italian American panda, isn't it? It was like biscuits. Yeah, yeah. There's that. Foxes. Foxes biscuits. Yeah. Except it's. That's probably because it's marketed here in America. He probably goes. Cookie. This last song is by a band called. I presume it's a band. It could be a solo artist called the Drowning Octopi, and the song is called. <laughs> Five years now that I've been running this race I'm just a slow elephant trying to keep up with the pace Yeah, I'm not good enough No, I'm not fast enough No Try to take some pills so I can slow down time But all they ever did to me was make me question my mind Yeah, that's not how it works there's a few things that I want to talk about with this, and I don't want to sound harsh, so I'm going to warn you in advance that it might sound a little bit harsh what we're saying. Everything that you've got going on is, le is full, full with potential, but the first thing I want to say is I don't like the fact that you've done an album already. We, we, we made a video about this a while ago, it was a video called Types of Releases. Uh, I'll link it up there if you want to watch it. Uh, we talked about the fact that you only ever get to do your debut album once. And you've done yours now. That 
I feel it's too early in your musical careers. I don't know if you've done EPs before or singles before or anything, but like your Facebook page has 130 something likes, so you're early on in your musical journey. And I feel like you've made an album too early. I feel like you should have wrote all of those songs, yeah? And then gone, okay, what are the best songs? These three, okay, so let's record these three, put it on an EP. The rest of the songs, we can do better. That kind of thing, you do write a load of songs, pick the best, get rid. Write a load of more songs, pick the best, get rid. And you end up with this amazing set of songs rather than an, an album really early on, especially since though an album is really hard to market. And uh, I don't know, just my opinion of releasing an album so early is done. In terms of the song itself, I feel as though it was mixed a little bit haphazardly, would you say? Yes, a bit recklessly. Um, I don't know whether that's, I don't know whether yourself recorded it or ha what the kind of situation is so that I can't, I can't really comment on it because I don't know what the exact situation was, but um, if we said the drums were like at a consistent volume, you had like the intro riff, which was pretty cool by the way, quite low in the mix. And then like when the chorus came in, the guitar was way louder. And throughout the entire thing, the vocal was like far too loud. Like really far too loud. Um, and also, I think, I think the vocals were quite out of tune at certain points. I would recommend getting a guitar or piano or whatever it is that you can play and working out what notes you should be singing and then really working on hitting those notes consistently. So then when you go back into playing the song, you're hitting those notes perfectly. I had this problem a lot and still kind of do. That's how you can kind of solve being either a bit flat or just doing the wrong kind of thing. Just get into your mind exactly what notes you need to be singing so that you can nail it every single time. So then when you come to do the song, you nail it. There would be my recommendations. There's good potential, although I'm not 100% sure that you went about doing the thing that you did in the correct way. If I want to put a positive out there, just because I feel like I've been a bit too negative, I think your name's pretty cool. I, the Drowning Octopi is pretty cool. Also, it's a really good song now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Fuck off. Mm. <laughs> what? Mm. <laughs> it's a book. Mm. <laughs> right. There was elements of that song that I really liked. Like, when it first started and there was just the drums and the guitar, I really kind of like that the sound that you had with your guitar it sounded like it was underwater and i thought that correlated nicely with your name which was good um i would recommend as lenny said making some changes to the mix if it's not too late in the day to do that i would i think the thing that sticks out most in the mix is the fact that the vocals are really really loud and as soon as the vocals came in me and lenny just like flew around the room because it was ridiculously loud. Um, I would also... I think that song would benefit if you just removed the distorted guitar. I don't think the feeling that you have in that... I don't think the feeling that you're trying to put across in that song calls for a distorted guitar whatsoever. I really like the clean reverb sound of the guitar riff that you've got going on throughout the song and I would recommend just using that. I think if you did that, the song would potentially be a little bit better. <laughs> Can you budge up a bit for me, please? Yeah, sure. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm sorry that it was an absolute fucking mess. It's because it's quite late in the day and we have a meeting later on, so we're in work a little bit later than we normally are. If you want to see a solar-powered sumo wrestler toy, then look here. Have a good week. Bye.